It's important to know that the Parafat GUI requires the Excel data that is input to be in a specific format. So before running the Parafat GUI, you need to make sure that the data you would like to handle has been pre-formatted into the correct format for the GUI to be able to read and understand it. So here's a series of uh, experimental data that is excitation emission fluorescence data. So let's take a look at one of these. Now I've actually done some pre-formatting already with this particular file, but that's just to make all of the headers visible so they're not compacted. So what we have here is we have a series of data sets which are essentially this component repeated again and again. And what an individual component is, is a trial where a sample was excited at a specific wavelength, in this case 270 nanometers, and the intensity of fluorescence due to that excitation was measured across a range of wavelengths. So, at, so there are essentially two variables here. There are the excitation values, which are listed across the uh, first row in the columns. So you have an excitation value here, excitation value here, excitation value here, etc. The other var variable is the emission values listed here. So those are the two variables that create the matrix. And the intensity data is essentially the data in the end that we're looking at. However, the all of these wavelength uh, blocks are essentially duplicated for each excitation. And when we enter this into MATLAB and into the Parafat GUI, uh, this duplication is going to cause problems. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that the two variables that define our data, in this case emission wavelength and excitation wavelength, one of those variables is defined in the first column and down the rows. The other is defined in the first row and across the columns. So in order to do that without having any gaps, first thing we do is get rid of all of the duplicated uh, emission wavelength sets here. So we get rid of all these duplicates, select them all, and we can delete. And having an issue there, but delete by hand as well. So now we're left with the emission wavelengths here, and those are the same emission wavelengths for each one of these columns, so you don't need any duplication. Now we need to set the excitation wavelengths, and right now they're setting a long string of values. Really, we just want the very specific value, which in this case is going to be 270. In this case is going to be 275. And you'll understand your, your data certainly as well or better than I do, so you'll know uh, what these should be. In the end, you just need to make sure that one of your variables is across the first row and the other is down the first column. So I will finish setting these. All right, now we need to make sure that we don't have any 
extra text. So we have the the excitation values across the top, the emission values down, but we have this row here that has all this text, and we don't want that. We just want values. So let's go ahead and delete that. And we want to get rid of the row so that we have a nice, tight um, data group here where, again, the first row is one variable, first column is another variable, and all the everything in between is the actual data. So this is our data in here. Something else you want to check for is often if you're saving your data from uh, an instrument, essentially the output from an instrument, you'll often find that there's a, a lot of extra text at the bottom. So you'll want to look for that, select all of that, and delete it. And really you can now save this usually as kind of some sort of a duplicate file so that you keep that original data for reference. So we'll save this as four. And we want to make sure it's as an XLS file because that is what the Parafat GUI is going to search for and is going to read. I want to make sure that's an XLS. And save, and I happen to already have it, but we can replace that. So let's just take a look at what one of these uh, final um, data sets would, would look like. So here again, here's a, a completely formatted uh, Excel file for entry into the Parafat GUI. Again, we have our excitation values across the first row, emission values down the first column, and everything else is the data in between. The program will actually uh, identify this particular uh, variable and this particular variable and will assign that a, uh, a value, a, a specific identification uh, so that you can see and know what the variables were that defined the data matrix in between. So hopefully that helps you to make sure the data is formatted properly. And once it is, you can go ahead and use the Parafat GUI and run Parafat and use the, uh, the tools at hand to learn about uh, the dynamics of your data.